One major way that psychedelics have completely changed me for the better is I feel this overwhelming sense of gratefulness for absolutely everything. After coming down from some of these psychedelic highs and these psychedelic lows, the overwhelming theme is that I must be grateful to all that is for the fact that I even manifested, for the fact that I came into being in either this incarnation or if this is the only incarnation, into the only incarnation. It is just such a <laughs> probabilistic miracle that I am here in relative health with my senses, my consciousness, and everything that that encompasses. This I really try to not forget. I could be in the most stressful situation and I try to remember, bare minimum, call me an optimist, that I'm alive. That this form of matter is unique to this moment in time and that it will one day dissolve and I will become something else. And this overwhelming sense of gratitude is so, is so good for the psyche to understand that you have your limitations and you have your burdens that you must carry. But if you remain ultimately grateful that you are there to lift burdens and to go through tribulations, I just don't see where you could steer off course. So psychedelics, they have instilled permanent gratitude for my family, for my friends, for matter itself, for the fact that there is existence and not non-existence. When you have been brought to the edges of what feel like oblivion on a nightmare trip or brought to what feels like nirvana on an amazingly beautiful trip, the main thing that you can draw from that is that you're something that can experience both of those polarities and that is beautiful. To understand that you possess so many multitudes that you will get to sample in your life is just, it feels like I'm cheating. I can't believe that I have this opportunity to share this, this realm. It's very strange. I'm not sure if I was a turnip in the last life or I was a, an association of molecules in a gas cloud, but I can't believe that whatever the all is, whatever gave life to this universe, allowed me to maybe just for a brief moment in time experience this and we don't know the long-term trajectory of the universe and the actions that it will take but I have faith that perhaps with an infinite time scale being itself can reassemble itself into similar forms that it has taken previously I'm not quite sure what I mean yet when I say that but I think there is something about the pattern that you are that due to the fact that it manifested once means that it may manifest again and it may manifest in different forms that feel familiar or like deja vu but it manifests nonetheless another interesting thought is if the universe is consistently expanding and then crunching back in on itself perhaps when all our particles are finally spread throughout this universe and then are brought back together and then explode back out, perhaps it forms a similar pattern. I think it's a romantic idea, the idea that what assembled you once could assemble you again. And it might not be for eons and it might not be for, for as far as you're concerned, infinity, but it might happen once more. And when you think about that, which I've done a lot on LSD, you wonder if it happened already. You wonder what would happen if you lived your life in a way where you've already died before, you've died many times, the same way that you go to sleep every single night. Sleep in many ways is a minor oblivion. It's essentially training yourself to die. You've done this many times. I have had these strange feelings that I am repeating a pattern that has existed previously, and maybe not in this lifetime. So what do I make of that? Well, the rational thing to say would be that certain reactions in my brain and certain mechanistic interactions are causing a deja vu sensation that I should not trust whatsoever. 
And then there's a domain of subjective intuition which says, no, we've done this dance before. You've done this before. And psychedelics cause very, very powerful synchronicities, these uh, intuitions that there's no way that this is a coincidence, that, that this must be the way that the universe has come into being in this incarnation, but it is not the first. For me personally, that imbues a very interesting mythology into my life. I wouldn't say that I take it on, I wouldn't say that I claim it to be the utmost truth, but it's something to consider that there might be something a bit magical about the way that the universe and being itself continue to loop in this beautiful, beautiful duality. Hmm. Before I go, I must also say, you must join my Discord. We have 7,000 Psychonauts who are organizing together to form a more powerful union and eventually a sovereign nation. Join us in the link below. Also, before we go, I want to mention that Test Kit Plus is an amazing resource to get all kinds of drug testing kits and substance identification uh, guides and information like that. If you click the link in the description below, I get a 15% cut and you get to be safer when you take substances. Thank you guys so much, and now I'm going to zoom home and read the Patreon list. <laughs>